So that would make Goliath right around nine foot, six inches tall. Let's say he's real close to 10 foot tall. And I, if we look in Genesis 6. Ask the pastor. I know we've had this before, and, uh, but maybe you can elaborate on this. It says, how tall was Goliath? Goliath was tall. <laughs> Garrett, thanks for asking that question. We've been teaching uh, all through the ages our, in our children's room and even, uh, of course, in our own main sanctuaries about David and Goliath and recognizing uh, uh, just how tall he was a big guy. So I went over to 1 uh, Samuel 17, and I just want to read uh, here out of uh, chapter or verses uh, 4. It says, a champion named Goliath, who was from Gath, came out of the Philistine camp. His height was six cubits and a span. And I'm just going to stop there because I don't want to take everything from uh, Pastor Michael next to me. But, you know, when we look at that, uh, uh, I've been over at the Noah's Ark, and they have the cubit because uh, Noah built uh, uh, the instructions from God was per a cubit. And there's a cubit, and I brought one home. And I measured it, and it's 18 inches. So when you do the math uh, of six and a half uh, that spans six inches and a cubit is 18 inches. So that would make Goliath right around nine foot, six inches tall. Let's say he's real close to 10 foot tall. And I, if we look in Genesis 6, we recognize the fact that there were giants in the land and the Nephilim and they were tall. They were big. And uh, he was there to represent as uh, the, the Philistines to come against the armies of Israel. And with that said, you now he told you how tall he is. He was a big guy. I'm going to turn this right over to Pastor Michael. <laughs> well, Pastor Gamma, I just was thinking about it, you know, too. When we think of um, Goliath, he wasn't tall at all compared to David spiritually, was he? That's so when we it. talk about how tall he was, how, you know, we can talk about measurements. So what do you think about that question? Uh, my grandfather would have said he was a uh, GI ant in the eyes of God. <laughs> he, he was small when you look, have a perspective of God. And uh, he could have told him, go, Goliath, go lieth down, you know, and that's basically what, what happened. But um, the reason why it's difficult to arrive at a specific measurement, we, they didn't have the metric system. Um, they didn't use our system that we use here in the United States with feet and inches. Uh, they used uh, the span, the, the cubit was the span of the elbow to the top of the middle finger. Uh, you know, that distance from uh, my arm is different from the distance on your arm or somebody else's arm. And I suspect that's where we initially got the idea of this is a foot or six foot before we said it was a specific 12 inches. It was somebody's foot. And um, so that's why, you know, if you look at different commentaries, you can arrive at a lot of various uh, information, at least nine foot, nine inches tall, according to the Benson commentary. The Barnes notes on the Bible says that uh, the cubit was about a foot and a half. So they believe that he was about uh, nine foot, nine inches. The Cambridge Bible School for College says the probable estimate is 10 foot, three inches. So he was anywhere from eight and a half to 10 foot, 10 inches, but he was tall. And as you said, uh, Dr. Webbio, uh, and, and when you take a perspective about how big our God was, he was just a GI ant, not a giant. <laughs> Amen. Amen. He was very tiny. Uh, Pastor Owens, I want to give you an opportunity to chime in on this. Yeah. So I think it's uh, the brothers answered it well. Um, I think it is interesting, though, depending on where you go into trying to research this, um, you get figures all over the place of what um, how tall Goliath would have been. Uh, I found one where it said that he was like seven feet, eight, nine, eight. Uh, inches or seven feet, 10 inches. Um, other brothers say that it's possibly up to 10. I think the reality is we don't know how tall the man was, but we do know that, that God used David to, um, to kill him and therefore bring forth glory to God. So that would be my encouragement. Amen. Pastor Hall? Yeah, so uh, in the ancient world, they didn't have yardsticks and, uh, and tape measures and stuff. So you measured something uh, by using your hands. In uh, Europe, in uh, ancient Europe, they would, uh, this was an inch right here, you know, a foot. Uh, as uh, Pastor Gamble mentioned, a foot is a foot. 
uh, this is what you used as body parts to uh, become some kind of a standard measure. A cubit typically goes from the elbow to the tip of the finger, so that's about 18 inches. A span would be the, the size of a hand. But if your hand is bigger than mine, then you can see there's no uniformity of standard. So uh, I believe that uh, Goliath was nine feet, six inches tall. Six cubits would be uh, 18 uh, uh, times six, nine feet, and then a span about six to nine inches, so somewhere in that neighborhood. But the important thing is that he wasn't tall enough, right? Uh, in fact, um, I want to read to you a passage from 1 Samuel chapter 9 uh, describing Saul. In uh, chapter 9, verse 2, uh, he had a son whose name was Saul, a choice and handsome man, and there was not a more handsome person than he among the sons of Israel. From his shoulders and up, he was taller than any of the people. The average Israelite at this time was about five feet, five inches. We know this from the skeletal remains uh, uh, in the area. Uh, so he was taller than that, but he was afraid to go see Goliath. He was afraid to go out there. He was the tallest uh, among his, his people, and he was afraid. The point of the story is that a little boy came and said, let me have Adam. Okay, I see how big he is. I see how big all of you are. Let me just go get him and God will take care of it. I think that's the point of the story. Not how tall was Goliath, but how big was the God that stood beside David. Hey everyone, hope you enjoyed the video. To see more like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button below. Get all the latest content from TCT Ministries. We'd love to pray alongside you for God's blessings in your life. So you can email your prayer request to prayer at tct.tv or click the link below and submit your request at tct.tv. God bless you and thank you for watching.